Okay, I'm just going to make a quick video here just showing everybody how to look over your fuel tables when you're inside your car and you maybe don't have access to the ProCal software. So what we're going to look to do is we're going to get onto the main menu, we're going to go to data logging, and then you're going to see number two here, which is fuel learn values. So we're going to go in there. And this is with the key on so that you can read your ECU. You don't have to have it started, but the key has to be on. So what you're going to notice here is if I go down to the next page, you're going to see your idle fuel learn. You're going to see all the values for RPM and map and what it's learned to do as a value. Now, if you see ones that say 100, that means it hasn't learned anything most likely. 100 is where they start at. As it takes fuel out, it'll actually bring these down lower. If it starts adding fuel, then you're going to see, if for example, in my 3000 range, I don't have a boosted system, so I will never see 200 map. Uh, therefore, it's 100. So as you can notice with mine at 3000, it's going to be constantly sitting at, you know, anywhere from 70, 69, 70%. Uh, 4,000, you see it's again in the 70% except when I'm at wide open throttle, uh, I get up to about 90, uh, 92 kPa is about the maximum mine hits. Uh, this is going up to about 102 and you can actually just keep scrolling down until you get to 5,500 where is where the maximum amount of fuel tables are. So these are your fuel tables. So like I said, what you're going to see is about uh, different RPMs and different map levels as well as what your fuel is set to. Again, if it's set to 100, it means it probably hasn't learned